Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to a very special New Year's Day two-minute message. So one of the things I love so much about New Year's Day, it's, it starts a new calendar year. Don't miss right now, January 1st, 2020, we're starting a brand new decade. And what you realize is we do not know all that's gonna happen in this new year, but it's important for each one of us to live with some vision. What do we want to see this year be? One of the things that we do at Crossroads Community Church here in Vancouver, Washington, where I have the pleasure of being a pastor, is we ask God for a vision, a theme for each year, and we're calling 2020 a year of renewal. Now, I wanna give you some of the parameters of that. And if you're part of the Crossroads family, I'm gonna be unpacking that for you in the coming weeks at Crossroads to be able to get a little bit deeper than we're gonna go right now. But really, we wanna live our whole lives if we're letting God do a work of renewal in our lives, reviving in our lives. It all flows through upward, inward, and outward, which we get from the greatest commandment, that we should love the Lord your God with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind. That's living upward, our relationship with God. And then we shall love our neighbor, that's outward, as we love ourselves, which is inward. So for us at Crossroads, we have this upward, inward, and outward framework over everything. And don't miss, I did write a book by that title, which I would love for you to check out wherever you like to buy books, because we unpack how do we grow upward, inward, and outward. But for the Crossroads family, our focus in this year of renewal is to upward to be with Jesus, to, to deepen our relationship with Jesus, inward to be the church, because as a church family, we wanna be able to function as God would have us, and then finally outward that we're gonna be on mission. And those three ways, to be with Jesus, to be the church, and to be on mission, is the way that we're theming our whole year. It's the vision that we have for our year, and we can't wait to see how God is gonna lead us in the midst of all of that. Now this is what we do, I want you to share this message because everyone should have a vision. This is how I wanna grow spiritually, personally, with my church, with my family in 2020, in this new year. Take the change of the calendar year, the, this new decade, and really say, this is what I wanna try and get at. And in the comment section, what is your vision for this upcoming year? What are you hoping to see happen and change and be adjusted in your life as you catch the vision that God has for you? We're gonna share those and learn from one another. And God bless you and may this new year be awesome.